Welcome to the Invite Health Podcast, where our degreed healthcare professionals are excited to offer you the most important health and wellness information you need to make informed choices about your health. You can learn more about the products discussed in each of these episodes and all that Invite Health has to offer at www.invitehealth.com slash podcast. First time customers can use promo code podcast at checkout for an additional 15% off your first purchase. Let's get started. Did you know that there's over 140,000 species in the fungi family? So when we think about fungus, many times we think about mildew, mold, yeast. Most of us have probably heard of athlete's foot. So you have this whole family called tinea and the tinea is brought on by a fungus. And so you have tinea that can affect the the face, the body, the, the feet, the groin area. We have all probably heard about these things, athlete's foot, jock itch, all of these different ways in which fungi can become incredibly incredibly problematic. And within the fungi family, not only do we have these nasty little things that bring out things like athlete's foot, but we also have really amazing things like mushrooms. Yes, mushrooms fall into the category of fungi. Now, when we think about the foods that we eat, many times people aren't thinking about the fact that if you eat a lot of mushrooms, you're eating a lot of fungus, but indeed you are. So I want to talk about some of the medicinal benefits about mushrooms today. So I'm Amanda Williams, MD, MPH, and let's get right to it. Let's talk about mushrooms in the setting of their popularity, clearly when it comes to being a medicinal food, but then just in terms of their unique nutritional value, say even if you're having mushrooms sliced and put into your salad, or maybe you cook with a lot of different mushrooms, there are many powerful antioxidants contained within mushrooms. Ergothionine is one of those very powerful antioxidants. There's a lot of B vitamins that are packed into mushrooms, vitamin D, for example, D2, ergocalciferol is a very abundant source of vitamin D coming from mushrooms. And we know that mushrooms do many different things when it comes to our overall health. When we look at the immune system, when we look at our cardiovascular system, we certainly can see that mushrooms containing a good amount of key minerals, things like potassium, for example, can actually be beneficial for maintaining healthy fluid balance within the body and hence helping to support healthy blood pressure. We also recognize that mushrooms can be beneficial when it comes to optimizing our overall nutrient absorption. And we realize this because When we get these natural sources of B vitamins and vitamin D, this can really help to allow the body to better metabolize other nutrients that we get from our foods. Mushrooms have been studied across the spectrum when it comes to all of the ways it can help human health. So not just for the immune boosting benefits, we certainly also recognize due to the dietary fiber content in mushrooms can be beneficial for metabolic syndrome and helping to maintain healthy blood glucose levels. So that high fiber impact is very, very helpful. So we know all of these different things and we know that the majority of research is, of course, done when it comes to the immune system. And we know that something happens as we get older called immunosenescence. And this is when the immune system begins to kind of decline. It's not as powerful and strong as when we were younger. So if we get exposed to even the common cold, the older we get, the more pronounced um, that infection can be. And we may not be able to fend that off as easier. So it's kind of a natural weakening that occurs within the immune system. Well, one thing that we know just through scientific studies alone is that medicinal mushrooms, including things like reishi mushroom, can be very, very beneficial 
when it comes to enhancing our immune defenses as we get older. Now, what's really cool is we have a formulation called Mushroom HX, and this is a capsule that contains eight different mushrooms, all of which have been studied for their own unique health boosting benefits. And in our formulation, we have that reishi mushroom, we have shiitake, we have chaga, uh, mataki mushroom, there's cordyceps mushroom, turkey tail, royal sun, and lion's mane. And all of these mushrooms, when we combine them, really gives you this supercharging ability to not only help to support the immune system, but we have to remember all of these other things that we're getting. We're getting um, wonderful exposure to B vitamins and vitamin D, essential fatty acids. We're looking at a really unique blend of key carotenoids that we know are incredibly important for brain health and for eye health. And obviously we're going to be getting a nice spectrum when it comes to the mineral exposure as well. So mushrooms have been widely regarded throughout Oriental Chinese medicine for a very long time for all of the ways in which mushrooms can be helpful to support a variety of different human health problems that can come up. And I had mentioned a few of those. We can look at autoimmune conditions. We can certainly look at um, issues when it comes to maintaining healthy blood pressure or healthy blood glucose. We know that mushroom extracts certainly can be helpful for all of those. Now, here's an interesting little fun fact. There is a council um, that meets on an annual basis, and it is known as the Mushroom Council. And they basically group together and discuss all of the different things that are going on in the world of mushrooms, including that research. So I like to follow some of their you know, recent finds because one thing that I recognized when I realized that there was this said council, the Mushroom Council, and how they convene once a year for this annual um, convention, I thought it was really interesting because they focus so much on the medicinal side of it. So it wasn't just about, you know, how can we market our mushrooms better, you know, to consumers and, and all of that. This was actually looking so much at the true medicinal benefits. And they were saying, you know, it's such a rare source of the ergothionine. And this is this powerful antioxidant that is solely derived when we're looking at those mushrooms. And then looking at that full spectrum of the vitamins and the minerals, and that all of their evidence suggests that mushrooms support the immune system in a healthy inflammatory response. And this is doing this through this very unique and profound interaction within the gut microbiome. We know that the gut microbiome plays that critical role when it comes to maintaining our immune health. So when I first came across this, and I was reading in the, the Journal of Nutrition, I was like, there's there's actually a group that's the Mushroom Council and they meet every year. And I kind of, I found it quite intriguing. So I looked more into to them and I realized, wow, they publish like so much really useful information on not only, you know, current research, but also looking at the, the history of, of mushrooms and the role of mushrooms in diets and, you know, tra tracking that all the way back to, you know, early Greek and Egyptian and Roman um, times and seeing the, the power of those mushrooms, which we know are a fungus, but just how beneficial that it really truly is and seeing how it's this unique source of vitamin D2, which then in the body, once we consume that, is converted into vitamin D3. And we certainly know vitamin D3 plays a really critical role when it comes to our immune system. Now, through my research and reading this Journal of Nutrition article via the Mushroom Council, I came across a really interesting study and it was in 2010 and it was on cell death differentiation and they were suggesting that ergothionine this very powerful antioxidant should actually be designated 
as a vitamin because of its unique role in protecting the mitochondria. What's the mitochondria? That's that inner part of the cell that's so important for cellular energy production. And so they were talking about how it actually is protecting the mitochondria from oxidative damage. So this is really um, kind of one of the areas that they were pushing for. Like, hey, look at this property, this really unique thing, this active constituent that we derive from these mushrooms, and look at how protective it is to the lifespan of the cell. Because remember, if we have mitochondrial dysfunction, if that mitochondria cannot produce energy, that cell itself is going to go defunct. And that's certainly not a good thing. Now, through their research, they have also looked at different studies in which they have found that beta amyloid plaques that build up in most widely known Alzheimer's disease, that mushroom extract could actually work to delay the degradation of that neuronal damage that occurs, once again, through that powerful antioxidant property. And we definitely know that when it comes to cancer research, a lot of focus has been looked at for the benefit of mushroom extract once again. In the, in the International Journal of Oncology, they were looking at a blend of mushroom extracts and how that could suppress the growth and invasiveness of human breast cancer cells. And this was um, done through the Cancer Research Laboratory at the Methodist Research Institute in Indianapolis. And they were talking about how mushrooms being this very integral part of traditional Chinese medicine and has been used for a millennia to prevent and treat a variety of diseases. And they, they wanted to see, they said currently mushrooms and their extracts have been utilized globally now um, in terms of dietary supplementation. So they wanted to see if you took this blend of different mushrooms. Remember I had mentioned what we have in our mushroom HX. So this is what they're looking at, that blend with having shiitake and the reishi mushroom and the cordyceps. And if we blend all these together, would that have any type of a impact on cell proliferation when it comes to cancer cells in particular breast cancer? And this is what these researchers found was that indeed there was this inhibition. It blocked that cell cycle. So those cancer cells could not continue to multiply. And they said that this supplement could have potential therapeutic value in the treatment of invasive human breast cancer. So that in and of itself, very, very impressive. But it doesn't just stop there. Um, Penn State University, they do a lot of really interesting research when it comes to food-based nutrients. And mushrooms just happen to be one of the areas of interest to researchers there at Penn State University. And they honed in, once again, on ergothionine. But they also found something quite unique. It wasn't only that mushrooms contained a high amount of this very powerful ergothionine antioxidant. It also contained a high amount of glutathione. And we know that glutathione is one of our endogenous antioxidants. So if the body can utilize those two powerful nutrients, those powerful antioxidants that are coming from the mushroom extract, they were basically testing their theory that this could stop free radical damage and help to protect cellular DNA. Very, very cool stuff. Now, they went on the next year and they looked at utilizing mushroom extract, how this could be beneficial for improving that glucose metabolism in the body. And the way that they were approaching this was via that gut microbiome. And so in this particular study, they were looking at eating whole food mushrooms and how that fiber component and the nutrient absorption benefits that happens within the intestinal microbiome environment was really profound when the actual mushrooms were introduced. And they, they published the, this particular research in the Journal of Functional Foods. So there's a lot of different ways in which mushrooms have been shown in research study after research study. 
there is many different ways in which we talk about mushroom extract at Invite Health. Oftentimes when you hear us discuss it, we are usually in that realm of immune system. And that is because the majority of the clinical research trials out there really do hone in on the consumption of mushrooms, whether that be whole food or via extracted form, has been shown in that setting of immune boosting properties. However, I always like to mention other ways in which we know that the mushrooms can be supportive. And one thing I think that's really key not to overlook in terms of the medicinal benefits is the way that it can help to downregulate systemic inflammation. And oftentimes when we think about the immune system, we fail to correlate that with the inflammatory system. And the two are, you know, go hand in hand. So when we're thinking about regulation of the immune system, we know at the same time, we are going to be supporting a healthier inflammatory response, which is why more and more research is now being done at the specific markers, you know, which areas are we starting to be able to downregulate via utilization of mushroom extract? Are we targeting things like NF-kappa beta and tumor necrosis factor alpha, the different cytokines and those different pathways? And this is why when we think about using mushroom extract, I oftentimes will say, you know, even for those who deal with seasonal changes with allergies and things along that line, having mushroom extract on board from the mushroom HX can work in a couple of different ways. Number one, we're going to be supporting a healthy immune system response, which is certainly key. Plus, we're yielding that benefit of getting that full spectrum of vitamins and minerals and all of those powerful essential fatty acids and the ergothionine and the glutathione all of those, but we are also at the same time helping to auto-regulate the inflammation pathways, which is really quite critical when we think about areas where we suffer from chronic inflammation. So the next time you go to the store and you are looking at mushrooms, number one, remember it's not a vegetable, it's actually a fungus, and not all fungus are bad. So we have to keep this in mind. You may have mildew or mold that grows in your shower or in your bathtub, which is never a good thing. And we always want to make sure we take care of that the right way. But other things in that same family of over 140,000 known species can be incredibly, incredibly beneficial. And we don't have to look much further than looking at mushrooms and seeing the way that we can help to boost cardiovascular support, boost our cerebrovascular support, boosting our nutrient absorption at the same time as our immune system. It really is a comprehensive way to go about allowing your body to take in appropriate nutrients to enhance overall cellular support. And so that is part of the reason why I wanted to talk about the mushroom HX today, because I do think that it's, it's really relevant. We have seen how the specific mushrooms within that product, such as the reishi, for example, has these immunomodulatory properties, but it also does so much when we look at easing inflammation in the body and targeting even elevated cholesterol. So there's a lot of ways in which these individual mushrooms, when we look at them in isolated research, do so much, which is why we have blended them together so you get the power of all eight of those mushrooms to really enhance your overall wellness. So that is all that I have for you for today. I want to thank you so much for tuning in to the Invite Health Podcast. Remember, you can find all of our episodes for free wherever you listen to podcasts or by visiting invitehealth.com slash podcast. Now, do make sure that you subscribe and you leave us a review. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Invite Health. And we will see you next time for another episode of the Invite Health Podcast.